in doing research for the duct tape deathmatch, um, I've been doing research on God Hand, and a lot of people refer to him as the sweaty S2K man from a meme, or when he races, um, most people just refer to him as puking, but they have no idea the potential that this driver actually had. He's one of the greatest drivers in Initial D, and he's so misunderstood. So I wanted to make three different videos specifically about God Hand and his technique, and I hope you guys enjoy. Introducing Dr. Toshia Joshima, also known as God Honor. Welcome, welcome guys. This is Scuba Steve here. This is video number three out of six videos. We've already discussed in the first video Takami's technique. We've already discussed the duct tape deathmatch. In this video we're discussing the professor himself versus Takami, the natural. We're also discussing the mental games that God Hand Joshima is especially known for. All right, here we're looking at God Arm's uh, team that he has called Purple Shadow. It's a two-man team consisting of Koza Hoshino, also known as Godfoot, and he uses the acceleration technique uh, with his Nissan Skyline GTR. And then you have Toshia Joshima, also known as God Arm, and he's using the one-handed steering technique with the Honda S2000. It's interesting to know God Hand's training that he has done over the years. Originally, his goal was to be able to use the tires to the fullest with no wasted movement at all. Now, he's been able to do this for over 20 years perfecting the one-handed steer. Now, there is a connection between Shinji Inui and God Hand. If you look at the, uh, in the manga, we find out that very early on in his training, he was trying to get to the ideal cornering speed, which is what Shinji does. He has no change of speed mid-corner. Now pros, they usually get about half a mile per hour of that speed. Now novices, they can usually get between 1 to 5 miles per hour of that speed. Also another thing that Shinji has is be able to have no hesitation into the blind corners. This was something God Hand wasn't able to do this. He unfortunately failed this out of fear. So even he has limitations. What you're saying? God Hand actually failed at something? <laughs> this is something that in the manga, this is this is something I've never even heard anybody allude to this. Um, now it's interesting, Koza Hoshino, his teammate, how he responded. Check this out. Koza Hoshino asked God Arm, So, there is something that even a technician like you, who are called the Elaine Prost of Mount Sakuba, couldn't do? I'm only human, he says. Well, who is this Elaine Prost? Elaine Prost, he was a French F1 driver in the 1980s and 90s. Now, many people know him for his rivalry with Senna. He was nicknamed The Professor, a four-time F1 world champion. He had many nicknames. Some of them were the French Assassin, a master strategist. He was cold and analytical, using cool-headed logic. He used a smooth driving style fashioned like Jackie Stewart. He had a sixth sense of what other drivers would do. He used an intellectual approach to competition. He would conserve his brakes and tires, leaving them fresher for later in the race. BellyUpSports.com said, While others play checkers at 200 miles per hour, Prost played chess at 180 miles per hour. Prost said, My ideal is to get to the pole with minimal effort to win at the slowest speed possible. God Hand's personality matches that of the professor, the thinking driver. They often win at the slowest speed using a calculated approach. He's adept at using mental tactics. He has the ability to use intuition to get inside other people's heads and forecast their moves ahead of time. Now this is in contrast to Takami. Takami's personality is called the natural pure natural skill 
That flair and skill that makes up their speed comes so naturally. He unconsciously senses rhythms, whether it's the tracks, the courses, or the speed used by others. However, this time it's a weakness. Hoshino says of his teammate, Joshima, or Godarm, has learned how to control the car behind him while he's up front. He messes with the rhythm of the car like a premeditated crime. He describes Godarm as a perfectionist. He likes to play the devil's advocate. He says he's got issues. In fact, he called the process of the mental attack that he uses perverse. So how does Godhand do this? How does he mess with another person's rhythm? Well, first we're going to figure out what actually creates a person's rhythm. Because you have different types of rhythms. First you have your personal rhythm, your competence with your vehicle, and then the track rhythm. Your personal rhythm involves your mind, your body, and your spirit. It involves your state of mind, your focus level, your motivation, your confidence level, your emotions, your belief system. It's literally the essence of who you are. That's your rhythm. The next part of a person's rhythm actually has to do with their car control, their competence level. Each person has to go through these four different stages, and if they're really good, they every once in a while get into the conscious awareness part, which is in the zone. That also is another part of a person's rhythm. Every track has its own personality. Some have more straights, some have more turns. Now you want to look for subtle changes that can possibly change where you need to focus harder on. It could be a, a spot where you actually have to break really, really hard or where a, a change in the turn radius. Uh, these are the things that you need to take a look at because that changes the track rhythm. So Godarm's goal is to be able to crack a person's rhythm and focus. It's, it's like taking an axe to a piece of wood. He gets that little wedge in there and he starts to crack deeper and deeper and deeper until sooner or later you don't even recognize where the rhythm of the track is or your car control gets all messed up and that affects your personal rhythm. He does this actually using the push-pull dynamics of racing. What does that mean? What are the push-pull dynamics? Okay, you have push-pull dynamics. This is to show that the two cars are not separate but they're actually connected to each other by paces, by their rhythms. Uh, the front car in front has the ability to set the pace and it can force the driver behind to go either faster or slower. They're the ones that set the rhythm. Now the car behind, they can put pressure from behind to force a mistake. If you've ever had a police car behind you, you know exactly how that feels. You can feel that pressure behind you. You don't even have to look in the rear mirror. mirror. It's there. You can feel it. Um, during this, these dynamics, you can, you can take an advantage of a person's pride in a braking battle or a brake feint. There's different techniques that you can use to take advantage of these push-pull dynamics. When I was younger, I did a lot of running competitions, like the, like the 5K and 10K. And I learned something really important. Competition is not just about physical strength or speed. It involves mental strength. My trainer, Brian, before he died, he explained it this way. Running up hills separates the men from the boys. What happens is when you're running directly behind someone, you can actually put pressure on them. And then you gradually pick up the pace till you're right beside them. And then you push yourself even a little bit more till you're just a little bit ahead of them. And that will gradually sap a person's willpower and their mental strength. And then quickly you spread a gap between the both of you and that way, you can actually push them past their mental breaking point. And that's how I learned that it's not just about physical strength or speed. It's about mental strength. Bill Aberlin actually has the same type of concept. He's an American driver who races the American Le Mans Series GT races. And he says this, A little known secret is to break a person mentally when passing. After you pass your opponent, for a moment, he will give it all he has to keep up with you. It's at this point that you have to focus as much as you can to drive as sharp as you can. Once you break away, he will settle back down to his original pace. It's interesting to hear what the professor himself said. When you're behind, it's best to time any move to perfection, and not to give the car ahead any advance warning about what you're planning to do so as to keep it a surprise. 
The smaller the gap between the two cars, the more you have to prepare your move. It can sometimes take 30 or 40 laps before taking all the relevant info on board. It's a bit like a game of cat and mouse. You have to be completely aware of your adversary's every move. But if he should miss a shift, you have to be ready to pounce in an instant. Alright, there you go guys. I hope now that you know a little bit more about God Hand. He is much more than just the sweaty S2K man, or a man who just threw up. Yes, he has his limitations, but he is also known as one of the greatest drivers in Initial D. He is the ghost, the professor, the magician of the steering wheel, also known as Godhand, and now he is also known as the Elaine Prost of Sakura.